To ensure optimum performance from your GS24 desktop cutter, it's important to follow a regular maintenance routine. To avoid dust and debris buildup, clean the device daily. Moisten a clean towel with a mild isopropyl alcohol cleaning solution and wipe down all surfaces, including the platen, rail, and rear of the device. Inspect the grit rollers for dirt and debris and clean with a stiff nylon brush. Remove any excess vinyl or large debris. Clean the pinch roller wheels with a dry cloth. Even a mild cleaning solution can dry out the rubber prematurely. If a pinch roller becomes worn, dry, or damaged like this, it's time to replace it. Begin by placing vinyl under the rollers to avoid losing the small parts you'll be removing. Using needle nose pliers and a screwdriver, remove the C-clamp from either side of the pinch roller. Set the C-clamp aside. Push the pin partly out in the opposite direction. Release the tension on the pinch roller and fully extract the pin. Remove the pinch roller and both washers. Clean the pinch roller housing with a dry cloth. When installing the new pinch roller, be sure to place it with the red dot facing the outside of the device. With both washers in place on either side of the pinch roller, insert the roller into the holder and push the pin through until it clicks sharply. Place the C-clamp onto a wrench and snap into place. Loosen the brass thumb screw and remove the blade holder. Push down the plunger to push out the blade. Use compressed air to remove dust and debris from the cap assembly. Install a new blade and replace the cap assembly. The new blade should be exposed to about the thickness of a credit card. Reinstall the blade holder. Make sure it's seated all the way into the clamp and tighten. Starting from the left-hand platen end, pry up the cutter protection strip with a screwdriver. Carefully remove the entire strip. Make sure all the adhesive is out of the groove. Peel off a small section of backing from the new strip. Seat the strip starting at the left side and remove the backing as you install the strip. Complete the installation, making sure the entire strip is flat and even.